Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of CVT Podcast. This is Carlos and I'm here with Dave. <laughs> well, it's good to be in person. I huh? know, exactly. <laughs> We're yeah, always on yeah. different. You're, right. you're, you're in, I'm in. I'm in Chicago. You're in yeah, Slidell. Yeah, I'm not used to having you right yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. In the middle of July when right. it's hot outside and humid. Right. Yeah, but so we wanted to do a special show. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize to our listeners doing a podcast because this is not gonna be a very audio friendly mm. show. And the reason why, and we have a perfectly good reason. I think everybody will 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 approve. Is that you want us? You want to give us a hands-on private yeah, tour cool. of Coral View, the facility, the warehouse, yeah. and, and things that we do here. Absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah, that's great. So um, um, I'm going to grab the, the camera, yep. and then I'm going to let you show us how, where everything is made. Everybody can see we're in Slidell. Right. In Louisiana, United States, we're nowhere else, and yeah. we make every we make hydros here. Yeah, we pick it. Yeah, you know, I've been pretty, you know, responsive in terms of welcoming people here. Anybody who wants to come visit, we're, you know, right off I-10. If you're yeah. going east to west uh, from the country, we're right off off the interstate. You can stop in, check out the place. Um, we welcome to have you here. And for those that can't, well, just stay tuned, and we'll give you the we'll give you the grand tour, VIP, uh, the VIP tour of the Coral View facilities. Yep. Absolutely. Well, let's get started. Yep. All right. So this is our lobby entrance here at Coral View headquarters. And uh, you know, as soon as you come in the front doors here, you're gonna see our big 1200 uh, gallon reef display. So we've, we've shown this quite a few times. I think if you've seen some of our past videos, but um, give you a little tour of it here now. It's been, uh, it's a job, so. Let's go back around though and check out the filtration room. So this is the equipment room. This is all where the magic happens behind the scenes. Um, you know, this whole setup design layout was done by uh, Sam of Wetworks. So big shout out to Sam. We appreciate everything he's done for us here. But uh, yeah, a lot going on. Um, you know, we do a lot of testing here with hydros and all our other products. So, you know, it, it gets used in real life before it actually goes out to the public. Yeah, check out the top, Carlos. Give you a little look down view. Turn the pumps down. This is our uh, refugium. And we got a lot of different, I think there's about four or five different macro algaes we have growing in here. We've got tons of peppermint shrimp. And we had a little infestation of Aptasia, but put in three of those little nudibranchs and boom, they work like a charm. So it knocked them out. Yeah, so this is uh, the quarantine system for fish. And we've got, uh, these are the ice cap UVs. And these are all tied in series. So it's 390 waters, I believe. Um, hydros, as you can see, everywhere from here all the way down, even on the other side. I believe there's probably 22 or 23 hydros devices running in this room alone. So here's our uh, calcium reactor. So we got a big calcium reactor running. Um, it's running off of this. Uh, Hydros X10 with the IV, and I'm testing alkalinity about once every four hours, and that's making decisions on the regulator of the calcium reactor. Uh, keeping calcium is probably running about 425. Alkalinity, I'm shooting for eight. So, yeah, it's doing its job. You can see how much uh, this was full not that long ago. We changed out all this media. And uh, you can see the, how far it's gone down already. 
And here you see, uh, this is our big uh, Reef Octopus. Uh, this is a XP 8000. It's actually a custom one that Reef Octopus made for me for this setup with this sump, how it sits on top. But uh, yeah, this thing, it's a beast. It, it just, uh, it's, a, it's the workhorse of the tank. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. So yeah, really the heartbeat uh, and pumps is, is all a biz. So this is uh, two A400s that are running the circulation. This pump here runs outside to uh, a chiller and then returns back. And this, this pump here is just uh, to the sump and back into the tank. These are two AFC 150s. Those are the flow cannons from a biz. So that gives us all our internal wave motions. And here we've got, these are just some, uh, some quarantine tanks, holding tanks. Um, I've got a lot of angels in there, so I'm really, I like my big uh, LPS colonies, and I'm just honestly a little scared to put some of them in there. But, uh, you know, so get up close with them. I like to feed them and see their response and... Uh, yeah, so just enjoying that. And then I got a big clam. I had that in the display, but unfortunately, he was getting nipped. So it was back into this little tank, but he's a, he's a big one. So here's just a little workstation I have. Uh, do feeding and uh, water testing, and, um, adding uh, dosing elements. All here is all the uh, fauna marin. Uh, elements that I use uh, based off the ICP analysis that we get back. So we'll dose those as it comes back uh, in the ingredients that uh, Fauna Marin recommends to add back. Yeah, so let's come on down these hallways. Carlos, these are a lot of uh, just offices, our uh, customer support people manning their offices. Uh, these are the front line people taking the, the calls that are coming in. And uh, once you put in a support ticket, maybe uh, you'll get an email reply from somebody in here or you'll be forwarded on to somebody else outside the office. So, yeah, we got plenty of offices all around the place. But and then, uh, yeah, we come in here. This is one of the the uh, assembly uh, rooms for all the hydros that comes down. So a lot of all the boards from upstairs will come down. We'll bring them down in, in trays that are ready to go. And then we'll start final assembly in here. So that's going on. What's Tal got going on here? So he's just a lot of wiring and final assembly. A lot goes into this. As you can see, just controllers start lining up as we stage them to get ready to go into packaging. A lot of packaging boxes here. This is what it'll, the final product box you'll see. So yeah, we come out here. This is our, um, this is where everything ships out from. So we'll do all our boxing, shipping labels, some final assembly work. So different computer stations where we'll have people boxing, getting things ready to go out. And here is, a, is another room that we call our wet room. So a lot of what we do here is uh, pump repairs will come in. We'll do testing. Um, this is a, a special flow meter that we can Somebody says, hey, my pump's not working. It's not putting out the amount of water it was. And we're like, okay, well, let's see what it's doing. And this is about a $5,000 device that we brought in. And it's, uh, it's pretty accurate. It's ultrasonic flow technology that reads out in bar. And from bar, we'll then translate that to gallons. So that's what we have going on here, just repair work. Um, yep, computers do a flash firmware and things like that. Yeah, let's go on out to the big warehouse here, Carlos. So lots of, lots of product and things like that. This is where it all comes in. A lot here, Carlos, is just parts. 
So you can imagine over the years, we've got 20 years just of Reef Octopus. We try and keep parts for so many different models, so many little parts, O-rings, uh, just anything you can imagine on these. So I think that in total is probably, I think just in the in skews in here is probably close to 10,000 parts for all the different models of products, skimmers, reactors, everything we've sold over the years. Stacked up to the ceiling here with Reef Octopus. It's all here in stock, ready to go. A lot of ice cap products as well. These are all skimmers. Uh, plenty of de uh, salt as well from Fauna Marin. We just had a shipment come in from them. So yeah, plenty going on in here. Lots and lots of product. But let's keep walking. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's so much reef octopus in here, you wonder, like, man, how much do you really go through? But I would say we're probably bringing in a container a month of reef octopus. And it's, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, certain times of the year, it's moving more than others. But we feel like we need to have a good supply on hand. And, uh, yeah, so that, that's what we got to do to keep it. And then here is a brand new shipment of Fauna Marin came in. So we just unloaded this this week. So we got a lot of back orders on salt. It's a great product. I mean, that's all I'm using in my tank. I think Carlos is as well, but uh, really clean. Can't speak enough good about that, that product. So one of the big things we're doing now, Carlos is trying to, you know, take it on the freshwater market. So we, we teamed up with Dymax and some of our own line uh, for rock and stone. And this is, uh, you know, different kind of rocks that we're bringing in, and, you know, all of this to, to a freshwater aquascaping. So tons and tons of different, this is actually petrified wood. So yeah, a lot of different types of wood, dragon stone, Really cool looking, looking stuff for uh, making unique aquascapes. Yeah, one of the, the other big uh, lines uh, of freshwater we're keeping now is uh, Dennerly. So this is a German line and really nice tanks. They have these unique cornered, these edges. This is a glass tank with these uh, beveled, I guess you would say, rounded corners. So it's really sleek looking, very contemporary. So lots of Danner Lee we bring it in and that's really starting to take off for us. If you're familiar with the Shrimp King food, that's probably their, their marquee uh, product. So one great product that, uh, from Reef Octopus is their sumps. Carlos, these things are built like tanks. I'm, I mean, just the, the beefiness of the acrylic that they're using. And uh, so we, we keep a lot of these in stock They've really, you know, taken off a lot for us. Uh, once people, they, they get these sumps and they're like, wow, I didn't realize how big, I mean, just how beefy they are in the, in the construction of it. So it's, the quality speaks for itself. We also have the uh, ice cap sumps. You keep a big stock of those on hand and they do very well for us. So lots of, lots of sumps. One of the big uh, lines taken off for us is our ice cap AIO tanks. Carlos, this is a really great line. We have uh, quite a few different sizes of these AIO tanks. This is the 38 cube. These are some AIO 20 gallons. Um, yeah, we've got tens. So we've got a bunch of, of different size of these uh, smaller uh, all-in-one aquariums. And they're doing really, really nicely for us. A lot of people like them. There's a 45 gallon. So, you know, it gets up a little bit in size. We also have cabinets for them. So really nice uh, black or white cabinets for these. Here's some here that are going out. Yeah, so one, one good thing or, or that we're doing is a lot of bulk chemicals, uh, Carlos, under our Reef Endurance brand. So 
calcium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, uh, carbon, uh, magnesium, um, GFO. Um, so lots of different bulk products we call that. And that's sold under our Reef Endurance brand. But here we've got a ton of Fauna Marin product that uh, we stock. So lots of foods, test kits, um, different trace elements. So we bring all that in, everything's stocked here. Here's more of the foods. A lot more fauna all running on this shelf up here. So we try and keep a really good supply of that here. Another big line that's taken off for us is Dymax. So this is kind of a, a freshwater line that also crosses over to salt as well. It has some saltwater products. But uh, plenty of freshwater, lily pipes, uh, different kind of uh, elements for freshwater. Um, one big thing I love about Dymax is the food. And they have fresh water and marine food. So if, if you haven't given that a look, check it out. I really recommend that the, uh, the uh, Dymax marine food. Great product. Let's talk about the... okay. One of the newest lines we have is uh, Reef Bright in our partnership with Tulio and Joy. So we're bringing in all the different Reef Bright uh, lights that they offer, XHOs, uh, Lumalite Pros, uh, we have it all in stock. Actually waiting on another shipment now with that, so that's doing very well for us. We'll have a new light that we're working on with uh, Reef Bright. Uh, it's our Hydros XHO powered by Reef Bright. So if you haven't seen that yet, uh, keep a look out. We've uh, shown it. Uh, lately at Reef of Palooza, and we'll be showing it again uh, at a couple more shows this year. One of our best partnerships is with uh, Alexander Gra of Abyss. And so we try and keep a lot of Abyss pumps here in stock um, from recreational uh, hobbyist grade all the way to public uh, aquarium use. So there's some, some pretty big AFC flow cannons and things like that that we stock. Carlos, a lot of people know Reef Octopus for their skimmers, but maybe not so much for their calcium reactors. And if you look at the build quality of a, a, a Reef Octopus skimmer, you put that into a calcium reactor and you get an idea of what they can produce. They've been at it for a long time. I'm using it on my tank, Carlos as well. Um, these are workhorses. So, you know, another thing that could be multi-purpose use is if you watch our latest episode on sulfur denitrifiers, um, that's what we're using. Uh, my my uh, uh, reactor is previously a calcium reactor, just turned it into a sulfur denitrifier. Easily can be done. So keep a lookout for those. One, of the, one thing that I love about Reef Octopus and what they really excel in is their pumps. And I can't speak enough about these uh, octo pulses. I mean, these things, these are workhorses. They're, they're really bulletproof. I mean, this thing, they just last. I mean, we have less than a 1% failure rate. It's just uh, really incredible for a, for a pump to have that kind of reliability and longevity. So definitely check those out. One of our uh, latest podcasts, you might have heard us talking about the, uh, our biomedia, ice cap biomedia. These are biospheres. And just these uh, are able to just um, hold on to so much biological um, bacteria that uh, colonizes and lives inside of these little microspores in, these, in this type of media. So we have different kinds. We got balls. Here's a, this is the plates that we have for them. So you can actually lay those down in your sump. And we have a, a, a holder for these as well. So you could lay these inside that holder or you can put the bio, the balls inside of a little holder to stack the balls up. So lots of different sizes of the ice cap media. This is a, a, instead of a large, you can even stack these little four inch squares. So anything you see, or if you don't see at your store, go in there, ask them, your, your, your local store, hey, have you thought about bringing in this in from Coral View? We're here to, 
try and work with the stores, get, get you the products you want. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to stand behind it. We're here. Um, we, we hope you enjoy these products that we can bring to you. Um, I know we use them, and, and, and we, we want you to have success with your tanks. That's ultimately what this is all about. So we'll go upstairs now, Carlos, and kind of show them where some of the magic takes place. Hey, come on in. So yeah, this is our uh, SMT room where we are building all of the, the boards for our hydros. This is where it takes place. We also doing a lot of rework, um, programming boards. Um, so a lot going on. This kind of starts, you know, if you would imagine, the boards come in just as a green board. It's all, this is all gold tin boards so we'll we'll start them here this is a printer so what it'll do is it'll it'll print and you see the board in here it'll have solder paste that sits up here and a stencil and the stencil will then come down on the board and the machine will make a swipe of paste imagine it just in a it can only lay directly on these pads. That gets the paste in place. Shoots the boards come out and they come to this station here and we're gonna visually inspect each one to make sure we got sufficient paste on these pads. But then it'll leave there. It'll come into the pick and place machine where then it will start its process of putting all these parts down on the board so you can imagine each one of this is a is a different reel a different part or a skew and these are all feeders that hold these reels and some of these parts i mean they're they're smaller than a grain of rice so you can imagine that this machine is able to pick up this tiny part and place it exactly on some of these little pads and you got both sides running so there's parts over there as well as here. Some of these boards, like you see here, there's actually four boards, so they're paneled. So it looks like one, but there's actually four It's building at one time. As far as the speed, we've kind of slowed it down now. Um, you know, we're talking, it gets loud, it can get jerky. But yes, we can really tune this thing up to where it's it's greatly, uh, we can see track the speed here and the amount of time it takes to, to run each board. After it's done populating the board, then it'll come to this station where we'll do a, a, an inspection and look at all of the parts, how they're laid out, make sure nothing got bumped or misplaced. Then it's ready to be sent in through the oven. This is the, this is the oven that then melts the solder and solders the parts down to the board. And then the end result, this is a nine panel board. So this is, I think this is a XD or a X2. So, and there's two sides to these boards. We'll have to, we do them in individual passes. So one side will go first, then we'll take them and flip them and run the other side. You know, boards will then come out. And we got Kevin here, runs, he's my SMT operator. When he's not running, working on the machine, then he brings the boards over here and he's gonna start writing software that's gonna program to the boards. And then from here, comes out and we go to my man Bubba. Bubba's going to visually look at the boards to see if there's any, any uh, solder joints or any deformity he might find in the board. There's still a lot of hand soldering that we do with these boards because of the, the GX connectors type of the protocol that we're, we're using on these boards. There's a CAN bus technology that uses these GX connectors and they're pretty large connectors that are difficult to solder. A lot of that we were doing by hand, 
but then we added a new machine recently, Carlos, and this is called a selective soldering machine. So what this machine does is you can place the board in and it will move the board over this, this uh, solder pot and it will selectively solder joints that we have established to solder through the software where this, this table can move up and down so it doesn't hit or damage other parts that may be in its way. So that's what it means by selectively soldering. There is another type of machine, a wave solder, where it's just a wave of salt and the board will run over the wave. This is a little different in terms of how it selectively identifies which parts and how to solder to it. Uh, this is, a, this is a, just an oven. So yeah, not for pizza. These are for parts that need to be baked uh, to a certain temperature. They, it needs to be baked to remove moisture and keep humidity out of these parts. So there's a a sensitivity uh, rating on a lot of these parts and in order to to keep that within spec it needs to to stay inside of these ovens till it's ready to you you can keep it out for you know 24 48 hours after that time it's not used it needs to go back in the machine All right, well, we appreciate you coming to check out the, a little tour of the building and, and what we got going on here. Uh, greatly appreciate everyone's support. Um, like I say, if, if you're traveling, you feel like you want to stop by, see what we're doing, everybody's welcome. We got nothing to hide. We're pretty uh, transparent in, in terms of what we're doing. And, and enjoy talking shop and talk about your aquarium. But uh, yeah, thanks for everybody. We, we greatly appreciate the support and hope to see you come by.